Good morning, friends. It is Monday, and I, I'm not having a good morning this morning. I'm gonna try to get through this without crying. I have been struggling lately uh, really bad with being homesick, and I pretty much cried my entire way to school. I've lived away from my family for six years now, and I honestly don't know why all of a sudden it's hitting me, but I miss my family. You know, my parents aren't getting any younger, my sister's not getting any younger. <sighs> I can do this. And my nephews aren't getting any younger, and it's just, it's tough. I live nine hours away, so yes, I can drive home, and I do, but teaching takes a lot out of me. Like, I could have gone home over February break, and I was supposed to, honestly. But I ended up getting sick, and I'm just, I'm tired. So I'm going to try to get home during spring break, just to kind of relieve this because like I said I I've lived on my own for six years but for some reason all of a sudden it's really getting to me and I don't I don't know why I'm gonna pull it together before my kids come in uh, it is 7:50, and I just got to work uh, I <laughs> on a lighter note but not so much a lighter note I have I've mentioned in previous vlogs that I have a serious skunk problem at my house to the point where a skunk just continuously sprays throughout the night underneath my house so you can't smell it like outside you just smell it inside my house so it's just it's I didn't sleep last night uh, I was up from 2 to 4 30 because it was spraying continuously and it just stunk and I swear to god like it's so str I swear on my life like it's so strong and pungent that you can taste it so it was just a rough night coupled with the homesickness that I've been battling for a few weeks now so there's that uh, I was talking to my mom about it last night like I I truly miss my family my parents are my best friends my sister's my best friend like i love her husband i love her boys so it's just it's tough however i i contemplated moving back when i got done teaching in alaska and it turns out that i actually couldn't get my teaching certificate in new jersey yet because of the certification program that i went through in maine i would have to teach two full years before getting my certificate so i can apply for my jersey cert now but i love my classroom like i love my school i love my coworkers, and if i may be completely honest they are the reason i'm not like running back to new jersey this summer i truly love where i live i love where i work i love who i work with and i know that i am very lucky to be able to say that i know that there aren't many people that truly look forward to going to work that miss their school and their coworkers when they're not there and there's just people that don't enjoy or look forward to going to work every day which is mind-blowing to me and i don't take that for granted like i said that is what keeps me going currently and i'm just i'm gonna power through spring break is coming up i will go see my family then uh and it's actually one of the reasons i got a newer car because i used to pay for a rental and i couldn't just come and go willy-nilly like it was planning around I always had to plan around rental car prices and rental car availability so it's just it's nice having a new car now because like I can decide to just pick up and go when I want so I think I'm gonna try to make a trip down there during spring break like I said because I just I need family time uh this summer we have a big family vacation plans with my boyfriend and everything and I'm looking forward to that, but I just, I need some family time before then. Plus, one thing I love about going in April, spring happens very, very, very late in Maine, and I'm talking like a whole month later than what I grew up with in Jersey. Uh, so I like to go down there because usually the grass is green, like the birds are flying around, there's at least buds on the trees, if not already leaves, and everything is still kind of brown and gross here. So it kind of gets me like in the spring spirit and just, it's just, it's nice. So, uh, there's that. On a less emotional note, I have no idea what I'm doing today. I planned over the weekend, but I don't remember what exactly I planned. I do know that I need to make some copies and it is 7.55, so I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna try to make it through this day without crying. I am not a crier. Um, I, I don't cry. I just, unless it is a book or a movie, some songs will make me cry, I'm not gonna lie. But like human emotions, <laughs> like someone breaking up with me or me breaking up with somebody or somebody saying something like super, I don't know, I don't cry easily. 
I miss my family, you guys. Like, so I'm just gonna say this. And I posted this on my personal, well, it's not my personal Instagram, but my photography Instagram, which is kind of like my personal one. I posted that if you live near your family and they drive you crazy, for those of us that don't have that luxury, please don't ever take it for granted. I know I did when I lived there and I know I do when I'm there, but just embrace it, trust me. Cause those of us that don't have it, we do miss it. So I'm gonna go and get some stuff ready for today and figure out what the heck I am doing. Uh, so I will talk to you later today. Good morning. Uh, it is Tuesday. <laughs> it feels like it's so much later in the week. Yeah, today is Tuesday and my kids are actually in specials. I took my sweet time getting here this morning. I went to the gym this morning and then took my sweet time getting to school. So I didn't get here until 7.40 and then I had a meeting at 7.50 to go over security protocol for our MEA, which is our state test that's coming up, and it was awful. There's not much that I complain about, uh, but it's, I, it was very boring. And I was very thankful for a hokey stool or like those wobble stools because that is the only thing that kept me going through that. Uh, so today, I, yeah, it's just one of those days. <laughs> I don't remember what I was gonna say to you. I am pretty happy today because I get to wear my contacts per doctor's orders. I have to wear them for six to eight hours a day for the next three weeks. So I am excited because I feel human again. Like I just, I feel, I don't mind my glasses, but they don't have the reflective coating on them. So uh, they are just, I am actually required to wear them for the next six to eight hours or for the next three weeks. I have to wear them for six to eight hours for the next three weeks. So, yeah, and I'm very excited because I feel like myself. Yeah, that's what I was saying. My glasses don't have that reflective coating as I'm sure you've noticed, like they're really hard. Like you can't even see my eyes through them when I vlog and stuff, but they just, there's a lot of reflections. Like not only that you can see, but that I can see. So just my eyes are really tired all the time. So it just feels really good to wear contacts again. Uh, plus I don't have to move my head as much like with contacts. I can just kind of look out the corner of my eyes and I just, I've missed them. I'm a contacts person. So. Today, I am predominantly prepping for conferences tomorrow. I I think I have six scheduled. I have like a two hour break in the middle. They're from 1230 until seven o'clock at night, which is just cruel and unusual punishment, but it's part of my job, so I have to do it. And I'm going into it with a bright and shining and smiley face. Um, But no, in all seriousness, I had my kids fill out forms yesterday. These are from Star Spangled Banner, I think is her name, it's Jillian Star. Um, these are student reflection sheets and it just, that's what it looks like. And then on this side, that's what it looks like. And I was going to create my own. However, I didn't feel like it this weekend, so I just used hers. I thoroughly enjoy creating my own resources, uh, but sometimes I am just tired and I don't feel like it. So I didn't. Uh, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven conferences and they are from 1230 until 620. But like I said, I do have, I have about a two hour break in the middle, which is nice. And then I have an hour break. So at least I can get some stuff done. I was in the process yesterday of at home and yeah. If I remember, I will insert a picture as to why I did not finish, uh, but I was creating a resource for if you lived or if you lived during the American Revolution, is that what it's called? Hold on, let me grab the book real quick. If you lived during the American Revolution, uh, I really wanted to do this because my kids do read to self and I just don't feel like their leveled readers are even remotely beneficial for them. And at least this, I get to cover social studies, their practicing skills, they're practicing comprehension because there's gonna be questions and things and they're gonna practice art because there's gonna be stuff they have to draw. So I have to actually sit and read this. It's actually pretty long. Uh, yeah, it's 80 pages. So there's quite a bit and I need to sit and read this and I'm, don't, I'm gonna start this after MEA. So I have about two and a half weeks to get this done. So I'm really not that worried. Um, but I'm between that or doing different novel studies, but I need to create like a general universal novel study unit. That way I can be like, here's the stuff that you need to do. Here's the questions you need to answer and those kinds of things. So 
I'm gonna sit here I have to print some stuff off for math and then I will talk to you guys later today okay so there's two things that I quickly want to show you because oh my god you guys I love my students so <laughs> The first thing is one of them made a comic and it it is amazing. It makes my dog crazy self like just so happy. So I'm going to turn this around and show you real quick. So it says, be manly, be manly, be manly. Who is a good boy? <laughs> I just thought that, that was absolutely amazing. And then real quick, the other thing is one of my kiddos made a cootie catcher, which apparently this is not what they call them anymore. The sun is killing me. Um, this apparently isn't what they call them anymore. But he did it as a social studies review. So it's middle colonies, New England colonies, southern colonies, and then random. And then inside it has economy, region, colonies, and religion, important facts, colonies, economy, and a more important facts. So like, I'll just quickly open this up and show you what it looks like inside because he really like worked his butt off on this so you can see how much time and effort went into this I know it's not focusing great but you can really see like it's just it is amazing and I I really do love these kids they are so fantastic this hasn't been our day they did this stuff during snack I kind of give them social time during snack and this is the stuff that they do there is that I'm gonna go eat lunch and I will talk to you guys Maybe at the end of the day, I'll try. Like I said, we have a staff meeting, so I'm not making any promises, but I will talk to you at some point later today. Hello, I am home, uh, clearly, not in my classroom. And I didn't vlog for you after school. I, we had our staff meeting and it actually went really well and we were done by four, which is mind blowing. Usually we're out of there like 4.10, 4.15. So, um, oh, we'll call this Vlogs with dogs. Um, ooh, I actually like that. Vlogs with dogs. Um, so this is Doggo Numero Dos. She is my second baby. And uh, she is my most needy, but also like my most antisocial. So <laughs> are you okay? He's not eating anything, I promise. Uh, so yeah, our staff meeting went really, really well. And I'm so excited. I got approval to do uh, breakfast for my students the week of MEA testing, which is like our big state test, the thing that we really strive to succeed on each year. Maddie! Sorry. Uh, so, when I was in fifth grade, my teacher did a different breakfast each day. Like one day she did like a mini bagel bar and she like cut up um, Dunkin' Donuts bagels into like quarters and got all different kinds of cream cheese spreads and juice and stuff. And one day she brought in like Lego waffles. Another day uh, she did different kinds of cereals with milks and all different kinds of milks. And it was just, that was what I remembered. I didn't remember testing. I remembered just having something different and it made us look forward to coming to school for testing. I'm just, I'm really excited that my principal approved that. Uh, I told her that it wasn't so much focused on the food. The reason that I wanted to do it was because everybody would probably eat that over our school offered breakfast, but also because I wanted to use it as a family style breakfast like it just it gives us just enough time to kind of get things going and like it's just I am so thankful that she approved this I am so excited as well like I'm sure you can tell like I am just I am stoked about this so tomorrow are parent teacher conferences and it is going to be a long day I'm still going to try to get to the gym in the morning not making any promises but fingers crossed I will get there because that is a stress reliever for me um and I don't say that like in a way like I'm stressed about the gym um I mean I'm stressed about the conferences I'm not at all whatsoever but it just that's my routine it's what I'm used to uh the gym just kind of keeps me sane and centered and I went this morning and I felt really good all day and I'm sure it was the pre-workout that I was still jacked up on when I got to school but that's fine so I it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. I have conferences from 12:30 until we go until seven. My last one is at 6:20, so it's gonna be a long day. But that's fine. I have a two-hour break in the middle as of right now, so I can get some work done. We also have grades that are due, so I may sit there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna work on report card comments tomorrow uh, because, yeah, 
Uh, so for fall conferences, when we did fall conferences, I prepared so many worksheets. For, I prepared like a packet for each student with NUIA scores and FastBridge scores and all kinds of stuff. I'm not doing that this time. The parents didn't even look at it. I referenced it because I I wasn't nervous, but like I used that as my guiding point and I don't want that this time. I think that's great for fall. I want, there is one parent that I need to talk to regarding academics, but other than that, like I want them to talk to me. How do you feel like your child is going to middle school next year? Is there anything you're excited about? Is there anything that I can help with? Do you have any concerns? Is there anything that you want me to find out about next year? Like I want them to talk to me. I also had students fill out self reflections. So my parents that will be there, I'm going to go over that with them and say, listen, these are the points your child filled this out. These are ones I agree with. These are ones I don't agree with. Uh, or I think, you know, they're being too hard on themselves because a lot of them really were way too hard on themselves. And I, I called that from day one. So that is something I'm going to work on. Come here. And here's continuing doggo vlogs or vlogs of dogs with doggo numero uno. We just celebrated this one's fifth gotcha day. Right, bud? Have I had you for five years? I have. I know. He loves kisses right on the bridge of his nose. He's such a good boy. Are you my handsome boy? Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> what are you doing? You're a crazy boy. You're a crazy boy. So, is there anything that your child complains about? How do you feel your, like, I just want them to talk to me. So I'm not gonna have any papers there. It's just gonna be a chit chat session. I am gonna have my laptop in case they are curious about um, like Nuia scores or FastBridge scores. I'm gonna have those, uh, my laptop handy. And I can always say like, listen, I'm printing it. You can grab it off the printer on your way out. But other than that, I ain't worried about it. And I know ain't, ain't a word, but I'm saying it anyway. I ain't worried about it. So I will see you guys in the morning. Hello, uh, it is one o'clock and I know it's really late and I don't normally vlog for you guys this late, but as I'm sure you can tell by my parents, it's just been one of those days. Uh, I didn't get to work until 7.40, which is our contract time. It's about an hour later than I normally get here. And I've had somebody in here talking to me every free opportunity I had to vlog. So just now vlogging for you guys, but I just had my first parent conference and I am now in my classroom about to eat lunch uh so i am eating and it's actually really good it looks really disgusting but it's broccoli with chicken and cauliflower so it's cauliflower rice with broccoli chicken and cheddar cheese so i am gonna eat that i am tired today uh it's been a really great day i just have a headache from wearing my hair up and i am excited about parent teacher conferences so um yeah i probably won't talk to you guys until tomorrow and i'm hoping to get some grades done that's kind of my focus today so as much as i love you guys and i love talking to you guys i really just want to get grades done so i can enjoy my weekend so i'm going to go work on that and i will talk to you guys first thing in the morning good morning uh it is thursday the day after conferences and i survived conferences yesterday went so so well and i had 11 of my 12 scheduled 10 showed up one of them was homesick so i didn't expect his mom to come in anyway uh but it was awesome just to sit here and talk about their kids and how they're going to middle school next year and some you know ask questions do you think my child's ready and i'm like listen like they're so ready got interrupted but it was a good interruption so i don't remember where i left off I know I was talking about conferences. I think that's where I left off, but I am tired. Uh, my last conference started at 6.40 and I left here around 7.05 by the time that was done and I packed up. I left my work laptop here and my lesson planner. The only thing I take home on days like that is uh, my sea bag, which is my lab bag as I call it, um, with my lunchbox and that's pretty much it. And my lunchbox is not even a real lunchbox. So, I am exhausted. I got home, I let my dogs out, and I went to bed. Uh, I played, I play words games. Like that's how I put myself to sleep. And my kids are having a competition to see if any of them can catch up to me because I'm on level 1200 something and they're all like on a mission to catch up to me. And I'm like, guys, 
I've slowed down significantly since like 900 because they're really hard now. So I played that, but I think I got through one level and I was just like, oh my God, I can't even keep my eyes open. So I just went to bed and I had every intention of sleeping into, well, first when I went to bed, I was like, oh, cause my district, the way that our contract works, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have to be here at 7.40. Monday and Friday, we don't have to be here until 8.10. And I was like, oh, today's Thursday. Like, I get to sleep in tomorrow. And then I laid in bed and realized that it's not an 8.10 day. It's a 7.40 day because tomorrow is Thursday. Well, today is Thursday, not Friday. So that was my first mistake. My second mistake last night was not turning off my gym alarm. I had zero intentions of going this morning. I was going to go after work. And at 4.50, my alarm started to go off. So I figured I was up, I might as well go and just get it out of the way. And I'm glad I did, I feel really good, but I'm also really jacked up on free workout right now. So there is that. Today, we are continuing, oh I need to fix my schedule. We are continuing with, let me get back to you real quick. So this morning, my students come in, they have breakfast, we have morning meeting, um, which is our restorative circles and the restorative practice type meeting. They go off to gym because today is Thursday, right? Yeah. Uh, and then they have math and we are doing MEA review though today I just realized it's Pi Day. So I may try to do something with that just to kind of break up all the MEA prep. And then they have snack, mustard, ketchup, and pickles, which is our intervention time, uh, recess and lunch, reading. And then they have Nancy Wood, who is a local um, like food educator. So she comes in and does a healthy foods lesson with them and then dismissal. So today should go pretty quickly, but I think I'm going to hop on P TPT and see what I can find for Pi Day today. Two new things have happened. I moved my desks. If you remember, I had them kind of like in a U shape. Uh, and I just kind of broke them into tables like this because I just needed some change and I actually don't like it at all, but I kind of committed to it. So that's how it's going to stay for a couple weeks and then I will switch it back. So I also got this new desk. Um, my coworker went to five below over the weekend and saw it and saw the color and instantly thought of me. So she picked it up for me and I love it. Um, it's not the most sturdy, like the top literally just pops off like that, but it is what it is and it forces them to be careful and then I have my wooden dining room table or chairs and I'm just I'm really frustrated and stuck on what to do uh, with this rug it keeps curling up I think this summer I'm gonna pull it out of here and just roll it the other way and then see if that works because I've tried red rug tape I've sat chairs like on the corners for weeks nothing has worked so it's just gonna ride out the rest of the school year and then we'll go from there also reorganize all of my shelves i used to have my teacher toolbox which is now back there i used to have that there those were there and that organizer was up on top of that filing cabinet over there by the door i just needed a new i i struggle with this um i just needed some change and i'll explain why in a second but i moved that there that way I can take everything from those folders and put that stand away and put those there and then I just I don't know it works better though I will say it is taking some use to when I need something for my teacher toolbox that I have to turn the other way now instead of it being right there but that's fine now I am the kind of person where when I'm really upset uh I need change and like I mentioned earlier this week I think it was this week uh I am really homesick lately like super homesick and the way that I deal with stress is I move stuff I move furniture like that's my biggest thing and last week I kind of was just like I can survive this like I don't need to move anything but this week I just needed some change so I moved furniture and that's that um if <laughs> if I could move my furniture at home uh with like as far as like base layout goes. There's not many options I have for my furniture. Um, if I could though, that would have all been changed too. So it's not just my classroom. Like I've been wanting to do it at home. Sorry. You're like aimed really high today. Um, if I could do that at home, <laughs> I would trust me, but I can't So my classroom is the one that suffers, but the kids, they take it like a champ. They, they don't have a question anymore. They did come in on Monday and cause I decided at like eight, 25 to move my tables and my students the bell rings at 8 28 and then my students come in at 8 30 so I didn't have much time but they came in they were like what on earth and I was like listen guys just just go with it so 
like I said, they take it like champs. But today, uh, I really want to find something to do with pie. I don't know if they know much about pie, but we will find out because I think we're going to try something with that just to give them a break from uh, a MEA review. I'm going to go hop on some tea and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hello, it is Friday, it is after school, so clearly I am home and I have not vlogged for you guys all day today and I apologize about that, but it has been one of those days. So I woke up this morning, I slept through my gym alarm, but thankfully I always set two alarms. I set one at 4.50 to go to the gym and I keep one set at 6.15 in case I sleep through that one, I can still wake up for work. So I woke up to my 6.15 alarm, which I was signed with, I'm still wiped from parent-teacher conferences, but uh, yeah, I woke up, I got ready, I left for work. I had a transfer 504 meeting for a student that has a 504 and will continue to need one when he goes to the middle school next year. So I had that and it was the largest 504 meeting I've ever been in. There were 12 people in the, in the room and it was just, it was crazy, but it was really great and it was very beneficial and uh, this, his future sixth grade teacher was there and it was just, it was a good time. So we get pulled once a trimester, that way uh, we are all on the same page. So I went to that, um, on the way there, I stopped at Rite Aid real quick, uh, just because I had to drive past there anyway, but I've been really stuffy still and I needed, um, my doctor had given me a nose spray. So I had to pick that up and it helps. Not for long, but it is helping. So hopefully as I continue to use it, um, it will continue to work and improve and I won't need it anymore. But. My boyfriend and I are going on date night tonight. Hold on, I gotta get my dog. We aren't doing anything extravagant. We're just going to Applebee's. Aside from fast food, it is the only chain restaurant we have within 45 minutes of our house. Um, but we just want something quick and easy. His mom offered to watch his son so that we could have a date night because I think I've seen him two nights in the last two weeks. So it's just, it's been tough. So we're gonna go and enjoy that. I stopped at TJ Maxx on the way home to try to find a shirt for date night, even though it's only Applebee's and I couldn't find anything I liked. Actually, that's a lie. I found stuff that I liked. Nothing that I really just felt like spending money on today. I wasn't really in a shopping mood, but I did buy a new pair of sneakers and not that I need those because, well, I have enough sneakers for like ever. So where did she go? Come here, please. So today I'm excited because I have a gratitude journal that should be delivered. Um, and it was supposed to be here yesterday, but it should be here uh, today. And I also ordered the bean bag, the Big Joe bean bag refill for my classroom because my chair is completely dead. Um, and I also ordered a gym bag that I have been ha it's been sitting in my Amazon cart for weeks now. And I finally ordered it today because I was in a treat to self moment, which is probably why I didn't, oh, it's windy, sorry. Which is probably why I decided I ultimately decided not to buy anything at TJ Maxx just because I had already treated myself today. So, uh, uh come here. So, that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Come on. So, we're going to dinner at five. It is currently four o'clock and I am so hungry and I'm just like, I'm not gonna eat until we go to dinner just because uh, we don't go out to eat often. We go out once a month with some teachers of mine for Name That Tune and we do get dinner, but it's like never just us. So I'm really looking forward to this, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start getting ready and I gotta feed my dogs and those kinds of things. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any video recommendations, questions, comments, anything like that, drop them in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.